Shadir Sanders has a podcast. Wait, 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 wait. So Shadir Sanders has a podcast. Hold on. Come, come back. Come back. Shadir Sanders has a podcast. Man, look, we're going to dive into that. We're going to talk about some other athletes who have been flying under the radar, maybe in your eyes, but y'all want to break it down this episode. And I want to show you the biggest opportunity that's being missed right now in collegiate athletics. Let's get into the episode. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, ballers? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones. This is a Speak Your Success media production. And y'all, we're going to go ahead and dive in. So a few weeks ago, you might recall that I dropped an episode talking about Coach Prime and talking about how he's getting ready to start up a podcast for his football program, right? And the reason why this is relevant is because colleges aren't doing it. They're, they're not doing it. And I love the idea. I love the concept. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to put it up here on top right here on YouTube. So you can click that link and go to it. Uh, if you're listening to the audio version of the podcast, I'll put it down in the show notes. But even further than that, now Colorado is going to start a podcast for the football team, which is great. But then that makes me wonder, well, if they're going to start one for the team, could athletes also benefit by having their own personal podcast? Let's let let's let let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So first and foremost, right? Last year, Travis Hunter came into partnership with Bleacher Report. And then he began to do a live streamed podcast. I believe it was every, I'm not sure if it was Monday or Thursday that they would do it. And it was interesting because they would just feed him the questions or they feed him the topics. And then, you know, he'd give his perspectives. He'd look at the, que the questions and the comments coming in the chat. He would engage, he would react and then move on, right? And I was like, that's dope. Because I can imagine that he didn't have to do heavy lifting in terms like editing and stuff like that. So that was really dope. Uh, but then I looked up and later I saw Bleacher Report did the same thing for Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons hops on the mic. He's doing a podcast. And I'm like, hmm, okay. And then Micah Parsons had CJ Stroud on one episode. And if you didn't see that, that by far is one of the greatest demonstrations that I've seen of people who know their lane, know their sport, and then they're just unpacking these topics, breaking them down, picking, uh, basically picking fantasy type lineup type team, and then having them match up against one another saying who would do better based on the route that they would run, what type of defense, what type of set. It, it, it was phenomenal. And I'm not big on football, but listening to them break this down, I was like, wow. They really know their game and they really know their craft. So kudos to them. However, however, I said it in a previous video and I've said it in multiple videos because in 2021, I said I believe every student athlete should have a podcast. And not necessarily for the NIL evaluations or for them generating revenue, which I think is great. But when I said it, I said it because it's going to develop their skills and even further I'll link that video as well. If you want to check that out, I'll link that because that was a presentation I did. So I'll link that video uh, on YouTube as well on the audio platforms. But today what I want to break down is how this is coming full circle and it's really showing to be more and more true. People looked at me like I was crazy when I said it. And I was like, y'all, every student athlete should have a podcast. But John, no, that's crazy. The, people already have access to the student athletes. Why do they want to talk to student athletes? Why do they want to listen to student athletes? Okay, I'm about to give you about three reasons why. Number one, first reason. Well, I already gave you one, Travis Hunter. He's arguably one of the best players in the game right now on both sides of the football. And by him starting a podcast in partnership with Bleacher Report, this has now allowed him to further his reach for his potential fans, followers, etc., supporters. But in addition to that, it also has now expanded his skill set. He's doing it on the field. Great. But seeing deals that people like Tom Brady have gotten to get ready to do commentary for games, 
that would make me want to learn how to do a little bit more broadcast as well. So there's one example. Two, Captain Jack, former hooper for Overtime Elite. Look up on YouTube, and now he has the Captain Jack podcast, where it's Cap and Pat, who I feel like is his, is his homeboy, uh, our colleague. But the podcast is them talking about basketball, them interviewing basketball players, them sharing opinions. Hear me and hear me on this. They're sharing opinions. They don't got to share facts. They're bringing a different level of a perspective. Like I talked about the episode last week. When I talked about Cam Newton with fourth and one and, and Cam Ron with it is what it is. And now the pivot. These athletes are now bringing a different perspective that other people who have never played the game can bring. Mind you, they're currently still playing the game. But Captain Jack, UNC, right? He's doing the podcast in his dorm room, talking about opinions. And that podcast is powered by, well, I'll get to that later. I'll get to that later. I'll get to that later. But then a few months later, we see Flage. Flage Johnson, shout out to her. Shout out to LSU. Shout out to her momager. I think that's what her mom goes by because she's her manager as well as her mom. But she rolled out an EP because she's a rapper, right? She's an artist. She rolled out an EP as well as rolled out the launch of a podcast. Come on, somebody. We, she branding. She marketing. She doing it all, okay? Shout out to mom once again. Because they're getting it done. And she's probably one of the busiest athletes that there is. Yeah, a lot of athletes are getting attention for NIL. But she rapped at the ESPYs. She rapped at the WNBA All-Star Game. Y'all, what is going on right now? Like, she would have to do sound check. She has to get in the studio. She has to get her sound right. So she's going from practice to studio, practice to studio, doing all these things, and yet she still found time for a podcast, which is entitled The Best of Both Worlds, because she's dabbling in what? Both worlds, basketball, hooping, and rapping and entertaining. Shout out to her. She got a feature from Lil Wayne. That's crazy. But she getting active. So she making it work. So shout out to her. And then, and then... Well, what the aspect of her podcasting is, is opening her up to more relationships and more connections. So the first point I said was the skill set. Now it's relationships and connections. And thirdly, this is what you came for. This is what you came for. Thirdly, Shadur Sanders has started a podcast entitled the number two. So two, legendary. Two, legendary. Shout out to him, man. Here's why. Yes, we do know that he is Deion Sanders' son. He's Coach Prime's son. He can't escape that. However, he's been leveraging that, and now he's begun to make a name for his own self. He's standing on his own two feet now, and I love it for him. Here's why. So Shadur, not only is he listed as one of the top quarterbacks to watch for the NFL draft, some people say he's easily in the the top three for getting drafted, right? Not to the quarterback, but just getting drafted, okay? But then further than that, he's had NIL success with with Google, Urban Outfitters, uh, Gatorade, Louis Vuitton. We can go down the list. Grady's brand being a long-term ambassador, all these things, right? However, he is he also has the secret weapon that Coach Prime has. Come closer. Come back. He's being represented by Smack Entertainment and Constance Schwartz Marini. And she is a monster when it comes to marketing. She worked with Michael Strahan and there's so many other people we can go down the line and list, but you just need to know Dion, Michael Strahan, and Shadur. 
because they are killing it right now. Because Shadur came out with the two legendary, like he was putting it out there on brands and well, he's putting it out there on clothing and really branding himself that way initially, right? That was like 2021. But now he's showing you. So it's one thing to be a collegiate athlete, right? You get eyes on you, people clap, you get followers, great. It's another thing to be a brand. And I saw Shador doing this last year. He would pin to the top of his Twitter feed a post where people can buy his shirts, buy his hoodies. He even came out with a hot sauce for crying out loud. I mean, the barbecue sauce. But here's the thing we want to remember and we want to factor in. Shadur is putting his hands in multiple arenas. So now it's not just about playing football, which is big for him, right? Football is big. However, as he's getting these, this attention from the games, right? Now you're going to come over to the podcast, which is entitled Too Legendary. You're like, I want to learn more about him. And I listened to the first episode sponsored by who? Ford. He got Ford on the pre-roll. He got Ford on the mid-roll. And I didn't make it to the end of the first episode just yet. I'm almost there, but I had to put this episode out. But he has Ford as a sponsor. And here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Yeah, this is the kicker. This is going to get you. This is going to get you. All three of them, Shadur, Captain Jack, and Flage, all their podcasts are under Overtime Elite. They're all in partnership with Overtime. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the dollars they worked out. I don't know if Overtime owns the YouTube channels or if they own their individual YouTube channels because they're for the podcast. So I don't know, nor is that any of my business. However, if you are at a university and you have student athletes that are interested in wanting to start podcasts and you want to start one for your athletics department or you want to start one for your team, y'all, it's one thing to throw a podcast together. It's another thing to have somebody to help you and walk you through it so you don't make the silly mistakes that a lot of other people are making. Y'all, people out here just starting podcasts and quitting podcasts. But I've partnered with a few universities here as of late and have been helping them to repurpose the ideas, the concepts, the thoughts that they initially want to do for a podcast. I've helped them flip that and help them get clear on what it should look like and what it could look like. So, one, if you're looking to do that, you're looking to start a podcast up for your team, uh, for an individual player. Or you're out here and you're an individual player, you're like, John, help me. Shoot me a DM at Jonathan Jones Speaks and say, help me start my podcast. And then we can talk about it because I do consulting, right? I'm a podcast mentor. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, these are big name athletes. <clears throat> and they have multiple ways that they can leverage these opportunities with their podcast. But they're in partnership with, you know, other organizations, other entities, which is great. But for you, now the question becomes, if it's in partnership, then they're splitting or they're dividing what comes in, right? Or they're getting a set amount, whatever they agree upon. But imagine if you're a student athlete and you just start your own. What then could you generate? It would be 100% yours. Y'all, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, but... Man, I am looking forward to more student athletes getting into the space, more athletes getting into the space of starting podcasts and uh, really mastering content creation because it's the greatest opportunity for you. You got eyes on you. You got fans watching you, cheering you on. You want to pull them away from just being eyes on the weekend to having a way you can contact them, having a way you can touch base with them and having a way to ultimately you can sell them something. Because they want to support you. So make it easy for them. Family, this is Jonathan Jones, and this has been Beyond the Ball, a Speaking Success Media production. And this is where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. All right. Till next time, peace and God bless.